today we're going to build a spider. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we have all of our parts. There's 26 parts in this, this build here, so let's go ahead and count out our parts. six parts. So what I like to do when I start doing this is I like to separate them and get them into a pile with their like parts. So we've done that now. Additionally, I like to get these legs of the same size into piles of their own. So I like to match them up and lay them out and so we can see everything we got. like so. Alright, the reason why we're going to separate these into piles is because it's going to be easier to build with. We're not going to be confused about what parts go where. And there's a certain order that we actually have to build these puzzles in. Alright, we're going to start with the body, the main body piece and the legs. And we're going to be able to build this spider in about three pieces and then put those three main pieces together and then do a single weld to join them. It's easier to do it like this instead of building one part, putting one part on and welding it at a time. We can build these in separate pieces and then put them together. It makes it a lot easier. We don't have to fixture everything and uh, it makes the process a lot smoother. Alright, so we're going to grab all of our legs and our main body piece. Get them where we can reach them and where we can look at them. So the first pieces that I like to start with are the longer legs. There's two sets of long legs. You just hold them up to each other. So there's actually four legs of the same size. These will be the front and the back legs. What I do is usually do a test fit. So I'll get these on. You know, these are these slots are made really tight for a reason. We don't want to have our slots too loose because it's going to make it harder for us to get the pieces on to keep them straight. We're going to have to do additional fixturing. So having them tight, having to wiggle them in is a good thing. And it may take, you know, you may have to grab a file and file them down just slightly, but that's all part of being a craftsman and, uh, you know, building a sculpture. have that I know it works. I'm gonna actually take them off here. There's a certain way I like to, to start off. I like to work from the front to back but I like to weld them upside down so that way I hide my welds. You can weld it all the way around if you feel the need you can weld it on top but this is just the way I prefer to do it. Before you start welding, you need to make sure you always have your safety glasses on, you have your proper PPE, it's fire retardant material, you're not going to catch on fire, that's a good thing. We also need an ANSI approved helmet with a shade that's roughly around an 11, it's probably where you want to be sitting, but the choice is up to you, they're your eyes, you know, read through all the safety procedures you have for your equipment. When I'm welding, this will be the front when I'm referring to it. So when I start welding, I'm going to put one of the legs in and make sure it's seated. We don't have to worry about it being straight right now 
because we're gonna do a tack weld, we will straighten it up and then we will weld it all the way. So, I turn it over and I turn it to its side. It is in the upside down position right now. We are gonna take our lead and attach our lead to the leg. And it may move it around, you may have to move it in position that works for you. We grab our torch and I'm also, I'm sitting around 100 amps. I won't always use that amount of power, but I have a foot pedal so I can adjust as needed. And we're using a mild steel fill rod, which is a 70S-2. Just your typical mild steel fill rod. And we're using argon gas as our shield. So, let's begin. Always make sure you have your lead on. It'll be obvious and apparent if you don't. Let's begin. All right, so now that we have it tack welded, we can look, make sure it's straight. We can turn it over and make sure that everything's lining up just the way you want it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody's gonna notice. It's up to you you know, how you're going to decide your level of accuracy or perfection or whatever. It's, it's all about fun. So once we think we have it straight enough and we like what we see, we can go ahead and put our first weld on the backside. We are now going to do the same thing for the other side. And be careful, your parts are going to be hot. Just be aware of your surroundings and uh, take care of your fingers. So I've attached my lead and I got it in a position that's comfortable for myself. I'm going to go ahead and tack weld it. And I'm going to repeat the process and just straighten it out, get it to where I think it's uh, right, and then I'm going to fully weld the leg. Now you can weld both sides, you can weld one side, it doesn't matter, it's all up to you. Now if you are used to the welding process, you know, you could be as, you know, obviously as good as you want. If you're not used to welding and you're just getting into it, don't worry so much about your welds. It'll come in time, it just takes practice, you know. All right, so the next step is, now that we got our two front legs on, we're gonna take a leg out of the other pile that we have here, which are the shorter, taller legs, and these are the middle legs. It doesn't matter which slot they go into, but it matters the orientation. Make sure you don't have your leg upside down. You don't want to have to cut your weld out and re-weld it. So now that we got it in there, we just repeat the process again, tack weld it, we'll straighten it out, and we will weld it. And I also like to work my way front to back so I can get my torch in as easy as I can. It's always a good idea to think about how you're going to attack something like one of these sculptures. So that, that way it's easier for you, it's funner, having a good time. So sometimes you may need to grab something to rest it on, so that way your welding is easier, you're not angled down, you're not angled up, whatever is comfortable for you. I like to grab something to rest it on. Make sure whatever you're welding on, you're not starting on fire. <laughs> okay. 
and that you have your ground on. If you want to double check if you're straight, that's okay. I do it a lot. Things tend to move when you heat them up. Now that I'm sure that's straight, I'm going to go ahead and do the full weld. And we just repeat the process. That is the first part of your spider and the legs. All right, so the next step to this is we're gonna take this upright, the main upright body piece, and this piece right here, okay? Now if I'm holding it, it's going to slide down into the body like so, and we are gonna want it to be at a 90 degree angle while it's laying on its side, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and make a tack straighten it out, and then weld it up. Make sure that piece is sitting all the way against the surface. It should butt up exactly. That's where we want to be. straight to me, we're going to go ahead and weld it. And I'm not going to run a full bead across the bottom. To me, it's not necessary. You can do it if you need the practice, if you want the practice, or if you're just having fun, that's okay. That's your piece, weld it on, and now we'll move to the next step. All right, now that we have our top piece welded on, we're gonna go ahead and grab this guy right here. This is gonna fit into the front, okay? With this slot right here, facing down, it goes into the slot, like so. And the same as the other piece, it's gonna be at a 90 degree angle 
to the main body piece. All right, so go ahead and make your tack weld, adjust your piece, and then uh, weld her up. should look like this so far and we will move on all right now that we got these two pieces welded on we're going to take the front piece which is actually going to be the face the eyes and this goes up into this upper slot so what we're going to do is we're going to slide it in and we're not going to go all the way up okay there's one crucial thing that has to happen. You're gonna to wanna to take these fangs. You wanna get the holes in the plate that we just welded lined up about halfway with these holes. You're gonna hang it over a table and you're gonna slide those fangs in on either side. And this plate here is actually gonna get welded in where we can really fit these fangs down and into the holes here. If you don't do this, these fangs aren't going to be sitting in properly and it's just going to be a pain in the butt to really get everything to fit together well. So it's going to take a little bit of maneuvering just to get everything in the right position. You may have to try it for a couple times it may take a few minutes but it will be worth it in the end to take the extra time to get everything lined up exactly where you want so I think that's where I want it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these fangs out So I'm, I'm probably 3 sixteenths of an inch from this top plate from those two touching. And I'll remember that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set it down. Attach my ground here. And I'm going to tack weld it from the back side. Now we're going to go ahead and check to make sure it's in the same spot that we had it and this is where we want it. It's always good to check everything twice because once you make the weld it's going to be really hard to come back and grind the weld out and sometimes it's going to be almost impossible because of how tight these parts come together. You're not going to be able to get anything in there to actually take the weld out. So taking the extra time is definitely worth it. That's where I like it. I'm going to put a small weld on either side just to keep that face from moving. Make sure you have your ground on. flip it over, do the other side. I try to weld everything in a place where it is not going to be apparent when the actual sculpture is done. I'm trying to hide them. I think it looks better personally, so this is the way I like to do it. It looks like it looks a lot cleaner as a finished product. So go ahead and weld this side. Alright, so now that we have this front plate on, I want to tell you that there's two different ways you can do this, right? There's a side piece, okay? It is easier 
to put this side piece on first before this faceplate. I like to hide my welds, so I put the front, the faceplate on, and then I slide this in. The problem with that is it gets a little bit tight getting that side piece in when you have the front plate on already. But I prefer to hide my weld, so that's the way I do it. And you can do it any way you want, but this is the way I like to do it. So what you want to do if you decide to put that face plate on first, it's going to take a little bit of hammering to just slide it back. Okay, you want to line it up with these side slots. It may take some, some work if you get it down there. But it is not impossible to get those to sit back with that front plate on. But the reason why is because if you were to put these side plates on first, you would have to do a weld on the front. And I don't want that. So it's completely up to you how you want to do it. This is just the way I like to do it. Okay, so now that we have our side plates on, I'm going to go ahead and make a weld on the back side of either side. Okay, then you're going to make a small weld on the very back sides of these to keep them touching the back side of that center piece. The other side, make sure she's sitting down in the groove. Put it in the basic area you want it. Go ahead and make your tack weld after you put your lead on. to make sure everything's symmetrical on either side. It's up to you at your level of, uh, you know, how perfect you want it. So, if you're happy and you know it, well done. Now that those two sides are welded, we're going to go ahead and weld the two back sides touching either side of that plate just to keep them steady. There you go. We've successfully completed the two main parts of our spider. All right, so now that we have our two pieces welded up, we're ready to join them together. There is a slot on the bottom of the main upright body piece and a slot on the bottom of the leg piece, that horizontal body piece. What I like to do is take the legs, lift them upside down. I have that slot right there. Typically get it started on one side, then flip it over. And just try to ease it in. You may have to wiggle. That's just part of keeping all these slots tight. It makes it easier. You don't have to fixture as much. 
So once you know that those two are fully slid back, you set it down. And then when you go to weld, you obviously make your tack weld on the bottom, straighten it out, and weld her up. Make sure that these two pieces are fully linked, right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a comfortable position. I'm gonna put my ground on, make my tack weld, and so on and so forth. spider is almost done. Alright, the next part of this is the fangs. This is by far the hardest part because it's tight. It's hard to get your torch in there. So all of you with small hands, I wish I was you. So what I do is I stick them both in there. And you may be able to only get a tackle in there. That's fine. It's not a big deal. You know, it's not going to be holding a lot of weight. So I like to get them in there. I like to position them about equal distance apart. Make sure that they're somewhat straight up and down. Okay. It's up to you how you want to do it. But I find that it's easier to flip it over. And you may have to take one thing out. Hold the other one while you tack it. That's just what you gotta do. Alright, so it's definitely gonna be easier if you extend your tungsten out just a little bit just to get in there. You know, typically your nozzle is gonna be too wide to fit up in there, so let's tack it. to get back there man but you're just gonna have to figure it out for yourself it's all part of learning so no biggie if it takes a cute few tries it's just the way it goes so that I have a tack I'm gonna attempt to add some filler metal I find it easier to come from the top I just add small tacks. It's not necessary to really get a big weld bead in there. And that way you can also adjust your fangs how you want them. Now we'll do the other side. Because now you have less room and that's great. I like how that's sitting, I like the distance, they're relatively at the same length, I think we're good to go. Now if you want to tie, if it's going to stay in there, you might as well grab your rod and just throw some, some fill metal in while you try tacking. So. It's going to be a jerk and move on it, which it's just a tack weld, so easy enough. This metal is forgiving. We can bend it back to where we want it.
Cool. I like that. And I feel that's what I want, so I'm gonna stop there. Right, so your spider's almost complete. I mean you can you can sit around and adjust things as you as you like to get the right look. Alright, so what I like to do is I like to grab all of these pieces for the body, for the butt, and I like to put them in order of height. Okay? The reason I like to do this is it helps, it reminds me where they need to go. So if we reference our instructions here, you can see that it, you know, logically goes from smaller to bigger to smaller. And how I like to figure that out is this very first piece we have here, the shortest piece, that's the front piece, right? The next smallest piece is the back piece, okay? From here, it's gonna be the same thing. This piece is the next biggest, goes right behind that front piece. This one goes to the back piece. And so on and so forth. We will slowly find our order, okay? We also, we wanna weld the smallest piece on first and work our way from the front to the back so we can get our weld torch back behind these and weld them all the way back. Just as easy as that. Alright, so we have our spider sitting in the upright position. We're going to grab the first piece, the beginning piece towards the front. We're going to put it on. If you're confused about the order, go ahead and grab every single one and do a test fit, and if you like it, great. You can number them if you're gonna paint it, not a big deal. If not, you know, do what you do. This is your project, and uh, it's completely up to you how you wanna go after it. I know the order I want, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that first piece. I'm gonna make a tack weld, and I will weld it and work my way from front to back. Once you got a tack weld, I like to again check how square it is. Now this back part of the butt, it is pretty critical that you get these looking pretty straight on. Okay. If they're uneven, it's just gonna look funny. So I like to just eyeball it. That looks pretty good to me. She's sitting down all the way. Go ahead, weld it on. Now I'm feeling I'm gonna need to check how square I am again. Just to make sure. Pretty good. got the first one on we're just gonna repeat it all the way to the end see you at the finish line
are a spider. I hope this was helpful. I sure wish I had a video the first time I decided to build one of these. So thank you very much and uh, have fun.